One of the pleasures of life for many people is window shopping. Mannequins like these, in creative poses, provide hours of eye candy along some of the most famous streets of the world. Gerald Stanley has been dressing mannequins for over 25 years. He treats them with respect and takes pride in his every display. Lately, Gerald has been a mentor for an eager assistant, Craig Vinton. But some have noticed the assistant is a little too eager lately. His next move may put his mentor in a financial crisis, but before it's over, it will cost much more than an arm and a leg. Something's not right. What do you think, Craig? Yeah, I agree. There's something off. I mean, it just doesn't look right. I loved my job. And part of it was teaching the ropes to green young kids like Craig. That's it. That's exactly what it needed. You're a genius when it comes to the little touches, Gerald. That's what it's all about. Little touches make up the big picture. I know I've told you this before, but working for you has really been a great education for me. Well, someday you'll be a chief decorator somewhere, and then you can put all you've learned to good use. Yeah, I'll definitely put it to good use. Of course, I didn't know that Craig did his best work behind my back. Mr. Duncan. Mr. Duncan. Yes? Gerald's making the window look like Jurassic Park. It's prehistoric. Not to mention it's taken him forever. I hate to say it, but he's so far behind schedule, he'll never be ready for the spring fling opening. What? Wait a minute. What are you telling me? Spring fling starts the day after tomorrow. And Gerald is not ready? Well, I thought you should know, sir. I can't delay that opening. It'll cost us a fortune. I don't want to start trouble, but I could redo the entire window tonight. And it would be more like the times we live in, you know? Edgier. Edgier. I don't believe this. You want to give Craig Vinton the spring fling display? He's just an assistant. Listen, Gerald, you're falling farther and farther behind in your work. And quite frankly, your displays are somewhat old fashioned. Old fashioned? Management wants something a little younger, hip, you know, edgier. And they don't think you could give us that anymore. You're firing me. You really don't have a choice. After 25 years? Sorry, Gerald. It's business. I took one last look at the figures in my shop. They were almost like real people to me. Craig wasted no time. He dismantled my display before I even had the chance to clean out my desk. What are you doing to my troops? These aren't your troops, Gerald. They're just plastic dummies. They're just tools for my art. I'm creating something new, different, something you wouldn't understand. You know what you are, Craig? You're a miserable, two-faced little suck-up. Yeah, but I got your job, old man. You... Back off, Gerald, or I'll call security. There was so much I wanted to do and say, but I had to maintain my dignity. If not for Craig, then at least in front of my figures, the only true friends I had. You'll be sorry you did this. Yeah, right. I feel real bad. He was trying to hurt me by hurting them. It was almost as if I felt their pain at Craig's abusive treatment. Craig couldn't wait to reveal his edgy new concept. 
a wild display of disembodied body parts scattered around the floor in eye-catching poses. What's going on? Like Craig himself, his ideas were imaginative and creative. And sick. Where's the display? I, I, I don't understand. I, mean, I worked on it all night. It was here when I left. It, it was beautiful. I had pieces of mannequin everywhere. The clothes draped over them. It's Gerald. I mean, it has to be him. Look, I don't know what your game is, but either I get a spring fling display by tonight, or you're out of here. Yes, sir. I'll recreate it at once. Craig thought I had sabotaged his display, but I was out of town. I don't believe this. That maniac put them all back together again. We may never know the truth, but this is what Craig claims happened to him that night in a completely empty store. How did that happen? <laughs> Gerald? Gerald? Where are you? Come out and face me! I know you're doing this to me. I know you are. Stop it! Come out and face me. Gerald, where are you? I know you're doing this to me. I know you are. Craig quit the next morning, and I was reinstated. Who could have possibly attacked Craig that night? It couldn't have been me. I was out of town. Craig's problems with the mannequins just a result of his own clumsiness? If not, what could have possibly caused the mannequins' assault on Craig? Was the deposed Gerald controlling things from behind the scenes, or is the explanation more mystical? Could it be the mannequins actually had human feelings of hatred for their new dresser? Do you think this story puts the truth on display, or is it merely window dressing? A story based on fact or a work of fiction will tell you at the end of our show. Next, a mysterious tale of the Old South.